Um, so we read pages 169 to 172 before the Christmas, or excuse me, Christmas. You wish, right? Uh, well, you've already, you've had quite a break. <laughs> ready to be back at school. I, I need to just say that. <laughs> no, you don't? Oh, man, I was ready to go back to school. Uh, so uh, this, this, this chapter is named Mother Teresa versus Hitler, right? So this sort of good person, if there is such a thing, and, and definitely bad person, right? Um, and, and how do we know? How do we know? How is it that everybody would say Mother Teresa was a morally upright person and Hitler is the person to whom we compare everybody who's bad, right? Like, you know, it, 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 he's like the worst of the worst. Now, I'll tell you, he's probably the most famous person, but Stalin, Pol Pot, I mean, the history is rife with war beneath. Pretty much every Herod that ever, you know, sat on, on the throne. So, um, so how is it then that everyone would say Mother Teresa good? Why is that? Why why would everyone say no murder is wrong? Not all killing is wrong. Murder is wrong. Nobody wants to be lied to, right? Lying is wrong. We intuitively know that. Why is it? And your book is saying it's because there's a moral law that that uh, every law has a lawgiver. There is a is a, there is a moral law in the heart of human beings, of every human being. Uh, therefore, there's uh, a moral lawgiver, somebody built into our uh, minds. This this moral law has been impressed upon our hearts. Uh, it's called several different things. So. Um, uh, so that's basically where where we started this this idea of the moral law, the logical argument. You're going to need to know that uh, for your test and everything else that's on your study guide. So this is what you're going to do today. I'll write it on the board so you don't forget. Whatever you don't finish is homework, but uh, you should be able to get it. So first you're going to read pages 1. 72 to no, 169. 169. 169. Sorry. 169. Yeah, we those pages don't matter. Um, 169. No, you, you, no, you started and stopped it. Yeah, you stopped at 172. Okay. Good. 172 to 181. So first you're going to read 172 to 181, and then you're going to answer quick questions. One and two. Have you heard of them? One and uh, four. You've done one through four. Five and six. Uh, and then uh, if you get done with that before the end of the class period, you're going to study for your test. Over chapters three through seven. Questions? Okay. Get to work. I'll put your that stuff on the board. I have a thought to think about the That should be correct or something close to it. Okay. 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 Ok